blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter, year A, and our gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Today is the World Day of Prayer for Vocation, otherwise known as the Good Shepherd Sunday. Today, we pray not only for the increase of priestly vocation, but most importantly, we ask the Lord to give us also good shepherds. Because whether we like it or not, not all shepherds are good. Not those who, who lead the leadership role are good. As a matter of fact, our gospel for today presented us two different types of shepherds the good shepherd he is the gatekeeper and the other one is the fake shepherd the thief and the robber and the true shepherd enters the right gate but the fake shepherd climbs over elsewhere the good shepherd aims to to give good life abundant life but the fake one comes only to steal, comes only to slaughter, and to destroy life. The good shepherd think of the others, but the fake shepherd think only of the good of himself. And what is interesting in today's gospel is this, you know, Jesus described himself as the good shepherd who opened the, the gate opens the, the gate for the sheep and he said, I am the gate. The image of the gate is very important. When Jesus said, I am the gate, let us listen to him. Let us choose Jesus because wrong gate leads to a wrong destination. We need to choose Jesus because he is the access towards abundance. I came to bring life to the fullness. We need to choose Jesus and listen to him because he is the way towards prosperity. He is the password towards unlimited blessings and he is the entry towards the fullness of life. Friends, Jesus is the right gate and what we need to do. Number one, we need to listen to him because he knows us by name. He is the right gate. We need to, to, to run away from strangers because strangers, their plan is only to destroy our life. And as a sheep, we need to stay together. That is, we need to bring together our community, our family to the right gate. For today's reflection, there are three good qualities that makes a good shepherd good. There are three good qualities that makes a shepherd good. And this is where I'm going to highlight my reflection. Three L's. L, L, L. Number one, a good shepherd is a person of love. And what is love? When I speak about love, love meaning to say, love is giving your life. Love is being able to, to sacrifice yourself for others. To say I love you means I am not afraid to lose my life for you. I will fight for you. I will protect you. Nobody can harm you. I will be the first line of defense just for you. To love means to lay down your life for someone you love. A good shepherd is a person of love. And Jesus did it by dying on the cross. Second, a good shepherd is a good leader. And that's the second end. You know, leadership is not about title. It's not about designation but it's all about vision it's all about inspiration it's all about influence and most importantly 
It's all about responsibility. Leadership is action, not position. A good leader is the one who knows the way, the one who, who goes the way, and the one who shows the way. And to be a good leader is to imitate Jesus, the good shepherd. A good leader is a good guide. He leads his flock to the right gate. You know, a good shepherd is a man of, of courage. He is very brave. No sign of fear. You will protect, not neglect your people. And Jesus will say he is the good shepherd. He did it and he is the right gate. And finally, a good shepherd is a person who listens. You know, because a shepherd who does not listen will eventually be surrounded by people who have nothing to say. Listen so that you will understand your people. As a parent, you need to listen so that you will understand your family. You will understand your children. Listen so that you will understand your feeling. You will understand the people around you. Listen so that you will know your people. Listen so that you will know the right voice. You will know what's the plan, what's the voice of God for you. Listen so that you will know what's the best for you. As a, as a pastor, you know, as a parish priest, I was told by my bishop, now that you are a parish priest, listen to your flock. Propose, but do not impose. Friends, fourth Sunday of Easter is asking me and you, be a person of love. That is, open your heart. Be a good leader. That is, you need to use your brain and you need to listen. Close your mouth and open your ears. Be a person of love. Be a good leader. And always listen. We pray for the increase of priestly and religious vocation. And we pray that God may continue to give us leader with the heart, with the mind, and with the ears patterned to the Good Shepherd.